2021 and the world is lighting up with UFOs. And it's not just fireworks lighting up the sky in West Oahu. Perplexed residents on the Leeward Coast are searching for answers after a lit up unidentified flying object reportedly plunged into the ocean. Incredible submissions just into third phase of moon from around the world. Buckle up, everybody. It's about to get on. These UFO sightings will start up the world in 2021, asking the big question. Are we alone? Now let's get busy and start off with the first video of, of 2021 out of Bogota, Colombia. Watch. Welcome everybody from around the world is Blake Cousins along with my brother Brent and we're going to be going over the best UFO videos just in for the year 2021 and we're looking at an incredible sighting out of Colombia. We're getting some close up enhancements, the original to the left and the blown up version to the right. We're looking at it very close again and this resembles to me like a pyramidal shaped craft in the sky but we're not seeing any kind of indications of a a drone or a blimp this is very uh, strange and right now i'm scratching my head these people on the ground in bogota colombia are also scratching their heads and asking the big questions what is this why has this appeared on january 1st 2021 brent what's your thoughts here i gotta say whatever this is it's it's massive it's something that we've never seen before it almost resembles this this black mass and if you look at the geometric shape it, it's really weird some people might say this is a kite but I, i'll rule that out entirely this is entirely something different what we're looking at still is kind of i'm still scratching my head but what do you think the size is of this thing blake i'm gonna say it's at least the size of a school bus what i like about this is you know, shooting at night and trying to catch a UFO at night is pretty tricky, but uh, the person who shot this got quite lucky because you're going to get this atmospheric uh, light that you're seeing behind the craft, so it makes it stand out. Uh, we're getting some comparisons with the building, the wires, and look how he zooms in and out. I would have to say this is at least 40 to 60 feet long, but I could be wrong. It, it could be a little smaller or a little bigger, but approximately that size and uh, definitely big enough to hold a few individuals the size of humans in there easily. But what's your thoughts on what's keeping this thing afloat? It, it remains stationary yeah i gotta say this is not a balloon this thing's just static it just stays so pinpoint in the sky it doesn't move an iota we we're looking at it very closely and you can see it just stays in the same spot i wish we would have seen what happened to this at the end or did anybody else on the ground film this is a big question you would think that we got a lot more videos out there. So if anybody over there, January 1st, 2021, witnessed this massive object in the sky, submit it to us right here at Third Phase of Moon. And I'm telling you, I got a feeling 2021, we're going to get a lot of close up videos with the advent of everybody having these uh, cameras that shoot in 4K. Now, this is interesting. We uh, received this video and we're sharing the link below. I want you guys to take a close look at this coming out of Texas, off the coast of Texas. Buckle up.
gonna look at this video again i'm slowing it down just a little bit and i'm thanking wayne lyon for uh capturing this this is pretty interesting we're gonna be again supplying the original link to wayne lyon's youtube video and what was captured off the coast of texas is incredible what are we looking at is this some kind of military exercise um we're seeing something actually detach from these formation of glowing lights uh, let's just look at it a little closer and see how many objects descend off this thing. I'm seeing glimmers of one or two or three different orbs trying to... What? What is this? Do you see this shadow underneath uh, the orbs of lights as well? We're looking at this kind of the same time as you are. We got all these videos just in. We put it on the timeline and we're looking at it. Um, and I'm kind of seeing... A little closer you see the birds fly by that's pretty amazing good capture at night again but Brett, could this just be military flares what's your thoughts yeah it's interesting we've seen these kind of uh, formation of lights over the ocean and uh, wayne lyon did state that he didn't see any vessel out over the water there and what a great capture man good job and again what are we looking at i don't see these lights descending or or are they are they falling towards the ocean they look rather static to me but to see these other orbs definitely releasing itself into the ocean some people might say this is a uso craft and maybe they're right because what we're looking at is really fantastic it's interesting and still unidentified it's these glowing lights they possibly could be flares but then again why aren't they falling to the ocean yeah, and we're not seeing any kind of craft that uh, dispersed these flares, if that's what they are. But uh, look at the incredible imagery that we're looking out in, on the open ocean. Uh, and then you're capturing this and we're getting explosions here. It's still New Year's Day, but you could hear some pops in the background. But as we're looking at this, we got a New Year's display of incredible lights out there over the ocean and again this video lasts for quite some time and these lights remain pretty stationary we don't see any kind of smoke trails that i'm seeing descend or rise from uh, these objects so in my opinion this is unexplained and as far as the eyewitness themselves it's unexplained to them too they're looking for um, some answers so anybody out there off the coast of texas see anything strange in the over the ocean there you let us know brent any last words on this video before we get to the next one yeah it's just a great 2021 we're just getting started we just uh showcased two videos and this these two are fantastic submissions right here loving it again why do we still see the lights still static usually flares would drop down it looks like the conditions over the ocean too look a little rough as well so I see wind on, on the water itself, and these things aren't moving left to right. They're, they're totally stationary, so it's, again, a mystery. And if this is one craft, one large craft just sitting out there, hovering out there, again, th th this object, if that's the case, would be massive. And I would consider this to be a half a football fill size or maybe a full football fill sized uh, craft just hanging out there. And I don't think it's an airplane uh, coming in the direction towards the people on the boat. It's too low to the ocean. Very bizarre. Now, we got another video that we just 
witnessed just a few moments ago, and I'm happy to share it with you right now, right here on Third Phase of Moon. Give us a big thumbs up. Let's get to it. Roll the next shot. Rapaz, I don't know what I'm seeing. There's a lot of fire in the sky. Look at the fire. Ixi, sumiu e apareceu de novo. Olha isso, mano. Ah, mudou de direção. Tá vindo pra frente. Ixi, caiu um pedaço. Mil. Olha lá, dá pra ver ainda. Right, this was captured just earlier, uh, right at the end of 2020. And there was no fireworks during this day, apparently, but it has the characteristics of a firework, in my opinion. But it's interesting. Usually fireworks dissipate. They don't just, you know, come to a dead stop and then turn into an orb, disappear, and then reappear, and then do the same flight pattern again. And it's kind of bizarre. Usually a firework kind of just descends in a straight line. This thing stops again. It hovers. It's actually hovering there. Look at this. It's just sitting there. Fireworks don't just sit there and then move slightly to the left, a little upward. Looking at this very closely, drops another strange thing from its underbelly and then disappears out of existence incredible stuff wow we gotta watch this again this is an amazing video at first i was just gonna dismiss it as a firework but now looking at it again uh, this is something unusual brett yeah it looks like it has three stages first it's stationary then it goes into this kind of zigzag motion if this was a drone with pyrotechs drones really can't perform a uh, maneuver like this so that's odd in itself it could be something entirely different and then it just disappears like you said and reappear and then it stops again this is some of the strangest pyrotechnic firework i've ever seen if that's what it is and if it's not that what in the hell is it incredible footage that's right brent and uh we're asking the questions what is it and i want to get your guys comments now we got a couple more videos that i want to share with you so let's get started with this one This was captured earlier in 2020, just a couple months ago, but I'm looking at it for the first time and I'm hoping you're enjoying this and you haven't seen it before because what we're looking at over the Andes mountain range over Chile, an airplane passenger apparently captures a huge ship over the Andes. The Chilean named Rodrigo, a passenger, said that he was on his way from Porto Mont to Santiago, and he witnessed this impressive presence of a tubular-shaped UFO just hovering over the Andes mountain range. 
he was able to capture several videos that leave no doubt that there's something going on and i want to get your guys opinions what the heck is this this thing is massive i don't think it's a lenticular cloud in my opinion i've seen a lot of lenticular clouds uh, could it be uh, it's a possibility but if this is a craft and it's a large one i'm putting some brightness contrast on this thing and it seems that there has some geometric shape to it it doesn't seem natural in my opinion it seems very out of the norm and we're looking at it i'm wondering if other people were able to capture the same phenomenon but what's your thoughts of this strange craft and how large do you think it is yeah like these are your typical cigar shaped ufos but could this be the one that breaks it all open this this one's really good i like what rodrigo captured and he says this was monumental in size i i believe that this thing's huge i would say it looks almost like a half a mile wide and it does look tubular. I'm looking at it a little closer, Brandon. I'm just kind of wondering, could it be CGI? Are we looking at uh, some kind of possible hoax here? Um, I'm not sure. I want to get your guys' opinion. I'm uh, seeing it and I'm not really seeing any deception. Uh, I guess I'm going to rule out CGI. I, I, I see the variance of motion with the camera. I'm adding some brightness contrast. Uh, I don't see anything fishy. I was just uh, throwing it out there. I'm not exactly sure, Brett. Your thoughts? Is this legit? It's a good question. We're looking at that first video, and I see that Rodrigo recorded a second video, and it's definitely a different shot, and we could rule out CGI. Whatever we're looking at is present over the skies of the Andes Mountains. So is this a hot spot for UFOs? I think so. Chilean aircraft have seen UFOs all over the place, especially the military incredible capture now let's get to this a video just captured again january 1st 2021 uh, well right before the new year in our backyard hawaii on oahu watch officials from the federal aviation administration say there were no aircraft incidents or accidents in this area tuesday night but multiple witnesses report seeing a large blue object fall out of the sky and into the ocean something is in the sky so there's a special report coming out of Hawaii in regards to this strange blue object that was spotted over the islands captured by eyewitnesses from the ground. And they say that this object or this blue uh, strange flying UFO, whatever it is, appeared to land in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Oahu. And they don't know what it is. And even it got the news attention What's crazy, too, is people actually chase this thing in their car and the eyewitnesses are asking questions. What the heck is going on over uh, the skies and under the waters off the coast of Oahu? This is amazing stuff. Just in. I don't know what it looks like. And then I was like, oh, started calling my husband then because it was all in the garage. I was like, hey, come look up there. Let's see what I see. The 38-year-old says she's never really been a believer in UFOs, but the bright blue object had them so intrigued, they jumped in the car and started following it. I don't know what it was. This one was going so fast. The journey ended less than three miles from where it began on Farrington Highway in front of the Board of Water Supply building after the object appeared to drop into the ocean. What's amazing is that the eyewitnesses themselves, like I said, they chased it down, but they said it was moving so fast, it was hard to catch up with it. They said that the object was lit up blue. And as you can hear from the eyewitnesses, that they were amazed of what they were witnessing. It's nothing like they've ever seen in the sky before. These people in Hawaii, they have a lot of time to look up in the stars. We got the best weather in the world and the most clearest skies on the planet. So we're uh, stargazers out here. We see a lot of stuff. Trust me, the UFO activity over the islands is massive, but it's really interesting of this uh, kind of object. I haven't seen one quite like this, Brent. What's your thoughts? Yeah, some people say it looked kind of biological, almost a uh, worm-like, which which is fascinating. Again, this is strange. What that? What in the world is this thing doing out over the coast, coastal waters of Oahu? And then again, it just we're seeing these objects that disappear into the water. These USOs appearing over over the ocean. It, it's just amazing. What are these lights? Again, the strange color, the purple look. 
And the way it's a little flexy, you see it kind of bend and, and break up into a little pike right at the bottom of this object. And that's kind of weird too. She says it was almost the size of a telephone pole. And uh, that could be maybe about 40 to 60 feet. So this thing's quite large. Yeah, it's not the only time we've had reports of these USOs or UFOs entering uh, the ocean in the Pacific uh, along the islands right here in Hawaii. And it's not just fireworks lighting up the sky in West Oahu. Perplexed residents on the leeward coast are searching for answers after a lit up unidentified flying object reportedly plunged into the ocean near Ulehava Beach Park. So I'm still trying to get my head around exactly what uh, this object is. If it's an object, what if it's some kind of paranormal activity, a ghost or something like this, or some kind of, um, you know, natural phenomenon. It almost seems transparent, if you ask me. It doesn't seem that it's a solid object, but then the people that witnessed it, they said it was traveling quite fast, and I'm still wondering if they felt that there was an intelligence behind it, like if it was trying to uh, run away from them because apparently these people were trying to chase it down with their car to get a better look and that's interesting a lot of people will just like look at a ufo and then just stay there and film it but as it takes off they don't keep it in mind to actually track or chase down uh, the ufo and that's what these people did that's incredible stuff and i'm glad that this was shared on uh, the news throughout the islands but again i, I want to get your thoughts uh, the people in the chat what do you guys think this is is this something paranormal or something extraterrestrial or something conventional because right now i got to roll out conventional because from what the eyewitnesses said they said this thing actually uh, traversed into the water as a, if it wanted to do this what and where was it going journey ended less than three miles from where it began on farrington highway in front of the board of water supply building after the object appeared to drop into the ocean on a line in the water, whatever it is. She described it as being larger than a telephone pole and says she never heard it make any sound. So, Brent, I want to get your thoughts. What do you think? Uh, what's going on here uh, in the skies? Again, uh, incredible sighting just as the year 2020 ends, and now we're in 2021, and we get this. Blake, we've been having a massive amount of UFOs over the past uh, couple months. We broke news about it just just uh, really last month about a fleet of UFOs captured over the state and seen by thousands. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I think Hawaii is starting to be the one of the biggest hot spots in regards to UFOs. What's that all about? We called 911 if I have like one cop or somebody for come out and um come check them out. While officers were on scene, she says they spotted a second light. My husband would look up and he seen the white one coming. The white one was smaller, was coming in the same direction as the blue one. They lost sight of the object after it passed over a nearby mountain. So you got multiple eyewitnesses from different vantage points capturing this anomaly in the sky. What is it, guys? What's going on around the world? That's what Third Phase of Moon's all about. We're here to back up the information coming in from the public and give them a platform to share their incredible evidence. Stay tuned for more updates right here at Third Phase of Moon. And if you enjoyed this episode, give us a big thumbs up and tell your friends about Third Phase of Moon. Everybody, keep your eyes on the skies. Be safe out there. Blake Cousins, we'll see you next time. I think it's terrifying. I mean, this seems potentially like one of the biggest stories of my lifetime. And I don't care if it's about UFOs or whatever you call it. Something that we don't understand is getting very close to our military aircraft. The technologies related to energy generation should come out first. This hybrid aerospace underwater craft is able to basically generate an electromagnetic field. It is uh, President Trump's belief that the United States must remain as dominant in space as we are on land and sea and the air. And your charge is to see to that mission with the United States Space Force. I mean, there were three people on my team assassinated and I was almost killed. With a lot of people that would like to know what's going on. It's a matter of national security. 
but apparently just recovered are off-world vehicles not made on this earth. The president will respond to the subject the way they want them to. There's a black box with all the technologies that would give us a civilization that's sustainable, peaceful, etc., and it's been around for decades. Everybody's asking the biggest question in the world. Are we alone? Look, it's holding, it's that just stalled strange. out there. The narrative that's being launched, which is a false narrative, is that we're not alone and that those civilizations are a threat. The problem is, is that the public has to be informed and involved. Uh, it could be a brief statement saying, hallelujah, I'm, you know, I'm finally vindicated. I don't, I, I'm not completely convinced they're gonna let this stay like it is. With the people who are surrounding that level of, of our politicians and government are not told like the movie Independence Day, where we'll say, let's go kick alien butt. 